Hello YouTube. Bartley here with MTX Automotive. I'm doing a little project on my Volvo to 2012 with the ISX CM2250 and I'm replacing the, the dampener, harmonic balancer, whatever you wish to call it. Um, I just thought I'd pop in and do a kind of an abbreviated video of how I'm going about this. Um, most videos I've seen, the people are, or the mechanics are taking off the entire radiator assembly. Um, I think I'm going to be able to do that, do this without doing that. Um, I'm working on the driver's side and um, I have removed a intercooler hose that goes from here over to here. Okay, and then I also removed my power steering reservoir and bracket. This is the, the power steering reservoir, the bracket laying right here. It mounts to here and that's allowed me uh, quite a bit of access. Um, uh, I'm using a breakover bar with a 19 millimeter socket and I removed these bolts from the center from the center of the uh, pulley, lower pulley. And I've taken this this bar, which is just a rock bar that we use here on the farm, and I gently worked my way around, worked my way around the pulley. Okay, what I say by gently is I mean I'm, I'm gently prying on it against the dampener that I'm replacing. So I will, I will prise on it gently, then I will take uh, this socket set up here, put it in this hole, and spin the motor a quarter of a turn. So I'm prising on it. Spinning the motor a quarter of a turn, prizing again, spinning the motor a quarter of a turn, prizing again. So that's that's gently working it off. And I've I've got it loose, it's about ready to uh, to fall off. Um, there's a plate on the center and this thing is what uh, was pretty much holding me up uh, the whole time. And I also uh, soak soaked the uh, the pulley down with your favorite uh, lubricant. I'm using WD-40, but anything uh, will work. Uh, and just every time you're prizing on this thing, you need to be putting WD-40 down in there to, to get to get it down in there to loosen up any rust or corrosion. Anyway, that's where I'm at now. So I'm going to pause this video and I'll bring you back in whenever I get to hopefully get to the dampener off. Okay, I've got the dampener loose. Uh, it's basically the same process on, on that thing. Uh, if you don't have patience, do not try this. Because it takes a lot of patience. Because I'm doing it without the puller. There's like a four or five hundred dollar puller from Cummins that you're supposed to use to take this off. And I've just, I'm not going to spend that money for this. Um, anyways, so uh, yeah, I just took uh, basically pry bar and you get in behind the dampener 
Okay, I'm prizing, or I was prizing off of that that bolt right there. I'll see if I can get a closer picture of it right there. This one right here. You do not want to prize on the the uh, front cover of the engine, obviously. Some of it is plastic, I think. This part here is metal, but it, it, either way, it's very thin. It's not made to be prized on. The, these bolts, however, are, are relatively uh, solid. <clears throat> um, but having said that, you're not going to see this thing move a lot. It's just going to be a little bit at a time. You're going to, if you if you're very sensitive, you know, with with your pry bar, you'll be able to feel it move just ever so slightly because it fits on it fits on this shaft down here tight. So you can't push it all the way off just with one uh, prizing motion. You have to, it has to be worked a quarter a turn at a time and you'll see it start to move. Okay, and then you just keep working it around, keep prizing it off that way and keep spraying uh, your uh, lubricant WD-40 or something on it to get it loose. And then once I got it out, uh, you know, there's about a quarter of an inch of the, of the crankshaft showing there. Um, once I got it to that point, I put these uh, just a pair of, of vice grips on it, and I start to wiggle it back and forth. You can see it wiggling. Then I was able to spin it like that. Okay, and that's when I know I've got it. It's it's going to happen, right? So anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing pulled off and. Uh, and I'll start putting the other one on. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably bring you back in whenever I start putting the other one on. Okay, I'm back. I got it, uh, got it took out. Just a few notes. Um, it's a very tight squeeze to get it out without removing the fan pulley can be done. I've done it, but it's, it's extremely close. Um, and then it's, it's close to, it's a tight squeeze to get the, the dampener out through, through this side. And uh, I had these pliers, or the vice grips, clamped on to uh, the dampener and uh, they were extremely useful in, in dragging this thing out. Um, don't know that I could have got it out without these vice grips on there. Uh, this has an alignment pin so it can only go in or go on one way um, so you don't screw nothing up. Sorry about the wind noise. Uh, this is the uh, the one that I've got uh, to replace it. Uh, I've already got it marked, uh, the marks on it for when I do the set the overhead. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll cut you back in here whenever I get it get it installed on the crank.